Thursdays, we're going to start with our word work, and tomorrow is going to be our show to you know spelling and red word test. So remember, we have three snap red words this week, and I would like for you to write one sentence with each word, one that's a telling, one that's an asking, and one that's exciting. If you already did it, great. If you did one yesterday, do another one today. If you did two already, do one more. And if you didn't do any, try to try to see if you can do at least one. All right, so let's just review these words for tomorrow. The first one is about, A-B-O-U-T, about. And okay, you tell me what little word is in about. Good job, it's out. And then the next word is don't. D-O-N, this little special thing here. Who remembers what that's called? It's an apostrophe, T, don't. And the last word is pretty, P-R-E-T-T-Y, pretty. So tomorrow we'll take a test on these three words along with our spelling words. And remember our vowel team this week is for long O. And one of our vowel teams is O-A, and we have the word soap, the word goat, the word road, the word toad, and the word soak. Then we had O-E as a vowel team, and we have the word tiptoe, which is a compound word. Remember, two words put together to make a new word. We have goes, then we have show, slow, grow, bow, and throw. And what I want you to look at closely is that when you look at your OA words, they're all in the middle of the word. And when you look at your OW words, it's all at the end of the word. So something you can do to practice is you can write your words down, and then if you want to, you can take them, and cut them apart. Keep your vowel team together though and see if you can rebuild the word. So let's try that. Here's my vowel team O-A. And if I go S-P, now I have soap. And if I go G-O-T, now I have goat. And what about if I move the T here and I put a D here, now I have toad. And if I put a K at the end and put my S back at the beginning, now I have soak. So I can cut my words apart and try to rebuild them as a way to practice today. Let's try it with the OE vowel team. OE looks like this. Right? So like O, O, O. Hmm, I can put a G in front of that. And then a S at the end of it for goes. I can try my O, E and put a T there. And I have toe. And oh, I remembered it was a compound word, tip toe. And then if I wanted to try it one more time with my O-W, I'm going to see how O-W always ends up at the end of my words. So if I have the H brother, sh-o, show, or if I have my blend sl-o, slow, I can also do gr-o, grow, I can do throw, throw, and b o bow. So that's the way you can practice your words today. You can cut them up, keep your vowel teams together when you cut them up, and if you have chunks, you can keep your chunks together, but if you want to cut apart all your letters like this, still keep your vowel team together because they're a team. They have to stay together, and then you want to try to rebuild your word. row okay so you could do it like that so that's one way you can practice before your test tomorrow you can also ask someone at home to give you a practice test and tomorrow we'll take our test together bye guys